Hi there. Welcome to Victoria's show. Um, it's been a while, but I just had to get this off my chest. I'm going to share with you today um, the power of putting vibrations out and a valuable lesson that I just, that was revealed to me <laughs> by um, the Holy Spirit. So I've been going through this thing with my youngest daughter, not understanding her motives or understanding her mindset as to her, her transition right now. Uh, she just graduated. Um, Nicole is just so uh, beautiful and intelligent. And I was talking to her last night um, because while I was doing my hair, I um, it I was thinking about her. And so it was like 3.30 this morning that I went in to talk to her just to let her know that uh, she doesn't have um, like a long time to figure out what it is she want to do in life. And when um it was a, it was a conversation and and she told me she she um had a hard time you know it wasn't as easy as she thought it was making a transition you know with continuing school right now you know she realized she was working two jobs and going to um, school you know uh, at the same time and she was burned out I understand that cause I get burned out I'm. I've never had a break. So I understand. But life does move on. And she is very privileged right now to even have that option to just chill as hard as she is. She does have a job, but, you know. Anyway, I have this relationship with God where he is so easy to see everybody else's flaws in my eyes. So. Um, and every time I'm shown something, you know, my, my question to him is after I have probably already addressed the person or the issue, you know, I asked him, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> it is the thing I want to do. He always, what, what is done to me is reflection. So what I do is reflect. So I reflected off of, um, what is it that I can do better as a parent, as a mother? Because I was just telling her, like, you got the best of me. You got the best of your dad. You're the only daughter that we have together. And she's my youngest daughter. And, and I... When I went back to finish my hair up, I thought about it and I was like, she doesn't know what to do because she hasn't had me as a guide, really. You know, I've I've always had this thing, it's a pet peeve of hers that she just revealed to me. I, I'm doing my part. That has always been my thing because in my mind, that's what I was doing. I was doing my part. But... This morning, as I thought about it, just because I talk to her, yeah, that's me doing something, but that isn't me doing my whole part. And what I realize is that my daughter is lost because she hasn't had me. I've been here, but I haven't been there for her. And I think about her and where she is right now. I have three older daughters that I really, when I thought about it, I have spent time with them, you know. Um, my oldest daughter, she's just been her, who she is, you know, when she said she was a baby. I was explaining to her, you didn't even want me to touch you as a, as a baby. You didn't even want your own mother to touch you. <laughs> and then my... Um, then I had um, a daughter that was um, 
she wasn't with us and but i would go visit her often we would have a lot of uh we time and there were a lot of times when she would i would have to go get her from school and we have a lot of we time and then i thought about my um daughter um my third daughter and she actually stayed in the home while the rest of my children um departed from the home one way or another she was the only one that stayed until she was actually 18 so she had all my mouth you know and we spent some time together we did some things together you know me and her but then i think about nicole my youngest daughter and i haven't spent time with her and it 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 was it was heartbreaking for me. I cried for my daughter because she's searching for attention. When I think about her in the pictures that I see when she was young or, you know, like when she was like last 10 years, like she was just always leaning on me. I always want to be close to me. And I was caught up in everything else. For me, in my mind, what I realized is that I've always thought just me being there or present, you know, where someone could touch me. I thought my presence was enough. She's been yearning for my attention for a very long time. And as I pondered on these things and these things are just going through my mind and being revealed to me and me going through these different emotions and just thinking about so many things and where I am in life. And and um, I thought about it. We both are basically in the same place. I, I, wanted, I wanted to attempt to tell myself, like, I don't know how to just be a mom to her, be attached to her because my mom wasn't attached to me and I didn't get that from her. But I... I made some kind of time to spend with my other daughters and not not Nicole. And I, I heard for her. I wanted some more time with my mother. Anytime. <clears throat> Couldn't get anything. And speaking of vibrations, I'm I'm getting from my husband what I've been putting out. So my daughter, she has been yearning for me to love her and show her attention. And she deserves that. And I want to give it to her. I'm going to give it to her. We're spending tons of time together. I just, it was so many things that I thought about that I'm, that we're going to do. That, you know, and she's so sweet and I love her so much. She's bundle of joy really even at her age you know as a young adult and um but when i said that about my husband i had been wanting to i've been wanting from him for us to be one i wanted more oneness in our relationship in our marriage i wanted so bad little did i know that i had been putting this energy out of neglect and that's exactly what I'm getting in my marriage. I don't like it, but I'm very grateful to come into this epiphany. Be careful about what you put out, what you're putting out, what you're getting back. Pay attention to what you're what you're getting back, what you don't like to feel or or what you do like to feel. You're we're putting it out. And I'm, I'm bringing this up about the vibrations because I was just listening to Oprah and she had on there Esther Hicks and who talks about the law of attraction. It's very powerful. But what's most powerful, what was most powerful about what they were saying is that my spiritual life is already aligned with this law of attraction and with my inner person, God. Miss Esther calls her being inside of her Abraham. 
I call my being God. He lives in me. I live in him. That's what I believe. That's what I know to be true. And I know this as well because he knows all. He reveals a lot to me. <laughs> but that just lets me know that he, he will do it for anyone who wants to connect with him. And who, who's open to him. And the law of attraction is the same way with meditation and becoming one and going deeper. Be revealed those things that you wouldn't otherwise know just on a conscious mind. So these things are subconscious, but they're there. I instantly told my daughter, look, I want to see a journal from you. She doesn't have a journal. I want to see a journal for you. And by the way, read your horoscope today. Because our horoscopes are very important. They align with us as well. They help guide our day. It helps me guide my day. And on top of that, I also read an aspiration from the Holy, um, the Holy Bible, the app. Something positive from the Father God that, um, that I serve. That who lives in me. Who knows everything about me knows what I need. So those intertwining those things. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. This is Victoria on the Victoria Show. And thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Please leave a comment. Because I'm very interested to know what you have to say about this. Alright, have a good day.